Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and today, as you can see, I'm on vacation. So I'm talking about how to keep up your regular yoga practice while you're away from home. We all know that it can be very difficult to keep up with your yoga or workout routine while you're away from home. So today I'm just going to give you a few simple tips to keep up your practice. And if you do manage to keep it up on vacation, it can help to enhance your vacation. It can help keep you focused and stress-free during those busy travel days. And it also gives you a chance to practice in some of the most beautiful places on earth. First of all, you need to make sure that you're prepared. So while you're packing, make sure that you check out the weather of where you're going and bring some yoga clothes that are appropriate for the climate that you'll be in. Secondly, you need to bring either a travel mat or something that you can do yoga on. On this trip, for me, I was traveling extremely light, so I couldn't fit my yoga mat. So instead, I brought my hot yoga towel, and that's been working well. Now, if you still don't have room for that, no problem. You can just use your towel from the hotel that you're staying at. If you already have a regular home practice, then practicing on vacation will just be an extension of this. But if you're used to only practicing in a studio, I've got a few tools to help you make sure that your practice on vacation will be successful. The first thing that you need to do is build a sequence that you're comfortable with that you can use while you're away. Now, if you'd like to just use a pre-made one, you can visit my blog, and I've listed there a gentle sequence and also a more active sequence that you can just print out and bring with you on vacation. But if you'd like to build your own sequence, just make sure that you include the following things. A warm-up, a standing sequence that involves sun salutations, standing poses, and balancing poses, and then a floor sequence that involves back lengthening, back strengthening, back bending, forward folding, some twists, and of course, the most important part of your yoga practice, especially on vacation, is relaxation. One thing to keep in mind while you're building your sequence is you only want to include poses that you're already comfortable with or that you've practiced in class. Now, if you'd like to include poses that you've never done before or poses that you'd like to work on, just make sure that you consult a teacher at your studio before you go away so that you make sure that you know what to concentrate on while practicing that pose and how to stay safe while working on that pose. One last thing that you may want to include in your sequence is a short meditation that can be done either at the beginning or end of your practice. And don't worry if you've never done meditation before, you can watch my video on simple meditation techniques or you can also look online for a meditation that works for you. Now the last thing that you need to do to make sure that you'll be successful in practicing while you're on the road is while you're planning every day, just make sure that you set aside a time to practice yoga. This way, you'll ensure that the time is already there. I hope I've given you the tools to help you stay committed to your practice while you're on the road. You can also visit some of the resources that I've listed below and on my blog that just have some things to help you build a sequence and also have some poses that can be really great to counteract stress that you may build up while you're on a plane or train or bus. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, make sure to visit me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and also my blog. Lastly, make sure to subscribe to Coral and I will see you next time.